Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm actually recording this outside down at the lake near my house. I've just been for a beautiful bush walk and I wanted to do a little recording because as I was walking along I was thinking about the time when I was younger when I used to walk through the farm that I grew up on. So I grew up on a farm near Byron Bay which is on the border of New South Wales and Queensland um, if you're aware of the location in Australia and it was this beautiful farm not too far from the beach so it'd probably be about a 20 minute drive from the beach so it was quite a coastal farm um, and when I was younger it was it was just so magical walking through the trees because when you're younger your imagination just goes wild you think that you can see fairy houses you think that the trees can move you think that it's just so much more magical than you think of the forest now I love the movie Bridge to Terabithia where when the kids go into the forest everything just comes alive and there's just monsters and um, just magical creatures everywhere and I was walking through today just doing a little walking meditation and I started thinking about the bushland that I was walking through being more magical than it usually is thinking of the trees starting to sway and the birds chirping and having on their little houses in the trees and I don't know <laughs> it was just kind of one of those moments where you think you just go back and just be in the moment where when you're a kid you're just completely in that present moment where you are so you're not thinking about work or you're not thinking about bills or you're not thinking about what you need to do next or you're not on your phone taking photos you just when you're a lot younger your mind doesn't worry as much it doesn't think ahead into the future as much it's not thinking of next holidays because that's what your parents usually do your parents figure out when you're going to eat when you're going to sleep when you're going to go to school when you're going to go on holidays there wasn't as many decisions so I feel like when you're younger you don't have to think of those kind of things so you have less worries in the world and less worries bring about more opportunities just to be creative and let the mind imagine and just be in that moment and be in the place and be present in that place. So what I'm doing is I'm sitting on a park bench that doesn't look like it's meant to be here. It's this little path that goes down to the, the waterfront and the sun's just so beautiful today. And I just took off my joggers and walked into the freezing lake water. But the sun is just beaming on the lake and it just looks like the lake has got gold flakes all over it. When the sun shines down, it's just twinkling. It's a really beautiful day today. Um, I hope I'm not talking too lightly. It's just because I'm outside and people I, are walking behind me on the path. So, yeah, I just thought that's sort of what was going through my head at the time. When the trees started swaying and the lake was glistening, I was thinking, wow, it's, this is what it's like when you're a kid. You just... You were just in the moment, each and every moment, and you just enjoyed being in whatever environment you're in. You enjoyed riding your bike and not having those worries in your head. You enjoyed going for a walk. Um, you enjoyed the outdoors activities a lot more. I remember another time when I was a kid, I used to make a lot of tree houses, and in the afternoons, it was just, you just, you would just be creating these actual houses. You wouldn't be thinking of the trees as logs and the, the rocks as just rocks. You would picture walls and roofs and you'd go into your own little zone. You'd think there was someone attacking you and all, you'd all have to run away. And you'd be creating little couches with TVs outside and out of sticks and trees and leaves. And it was just, you were in that moment, you were just creating and playing and yeah, I just think adults need to do that more. I know that you go back to that when you have kids. You start playing and your imagination starts running wild and free. But there's a time in your life where I feel like a lot of that just 
ceases and things like reading books can get you into that and watching movies but again I think just mindless tv watching sometimes can just get you out of life really I remember a few afternoons or a few weekends just binge watching tv series and you just spend the whole day on the couch or in bed and you haven't even gone outside to see what the weather's like or gone outside to even ground yourself so once in a while just take your shoes off and go outside and realize what's on what's happening in the outside world um instead of cooped up on a couch because sometimes that's when life passes you by and weeks turn into months months turn into years and you're like what happened to my last four years where did it go and I think I've just been on this bit of self-help journey lately where I feel like my last nine months has just gone so fast and I started going for a jog this morning and I just realized that I just needed to slow down my body didn't want a jog so I went from a jog to a walk and then a walk to a walking meditation and then I just decided to sit put my feet in the lake and just enjoy the sun and the lake water and just be just be just be um but of course sometimes it's hard and yeah I just wanted to put that out there record that put it down I don't know if I'll actually put this on a video or if I just needed to to say it out loud to say what I was thinking so I could walk home and just walk and try to get all the thoughts out of my head let them float by without judgment um I hope you enjoyed this video today if I do post this as a video um, if I am going to post this on top of my video I just created a bee themed snail mail um, not too long ago so that was my most recent video that I needed to upload soon so that's probably going to be the one that this recording is posted over the stamps I actually got from um, an older man his wife passed away she loved to craft and he was going to sell some of them. He wasn't sure what, how he was going to get rid of like boxes upon boxes of um, craft supplies. So my partner, Dan, was over at his house helping him build a pool house. So he started talking about my love of stationery and craft. So I got a whole box of stamps that I'm really grateful for. So. Um, the bee stamp and the hive stamp and the little bee stamp they're all from this um, man's wife's collection so I'm really grateful that I got these beautiful stamps and I've been able to use them and the bee um, wax seal that was gifted to me in a pen pal letter and the paper that I used on the front that was from the Sora box so my next video is going to be a journal with me video. I'll open a few letters up on camera and I'll also be using a lot of products from the Sora box in a journal spread. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.